Hey, good morning. Have you been helped today? I have not. How can I help you? Um, I'm interested in learning about your health science programs. All right, excellent. May I get your name? Emily. Emily? So nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, Emily. Why don't you come in and we'll go over some of those programs. Okay. And you are interested in some of our health science programs. Yes. Excellent. Do you have any pr uh, program in particular that you're interested in or just want to learn about a little bit about everything? Um, I think I want to learn a little bit about everything. All right, excellent. So one of the programs that we have here is our nursing program. It's a generic RN program. That's around two years long. Um, we also have a practical nursing program as well as a transition program. And we also have a bachelor's in science and nursing program as well. We also have a radiography programs. We have a EMS and fire science program. Um, that's also in this area right here on our Highlands campus. We have a surgical tech program. At South Florida State College, the surgical technologist student learns everything from transporting the patient from the PACU, the patient identification, and moving them over to the operating room. They learn how to prep and position the patient. The surgical technologists here at the college have every instrument set available to learn all surgical specialties. They are very fortunate to have all of this opportunity with the PACs, learning how to open and learn all their instrumentation. We have dental programs. So dental assistant program, that's around 11 months long. And we also have a dental hygiene program. Am I able to see any of your programs today? Absolutely, let's go. All right, so this is our EMS and fire science area. So let's come in and meet our director. Thanks. Hi, this is Emily. She's an interested student, and we were curious if we could speak with Mr. Ashworth. Sure. So one minute. Mr. Ashworth, you have a student here like to see. Come on in. Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? I'm all right. What can I do for you today? Um, I'm just trying to learn about the health science programs. You are in luck. Uh, in January, we're going to be starting a new program that involves being an EMT and a firefighter. Program combined will be uh, 20 weeks for firefighter, 20 weeks for EMT. You'll be a firefighter and an EMT within one year. After that, you can immediately start our paramedic program, um, which would, in another year, you could be a paramedic and a firefighter. Uh, doing the programs this way, it would be Pell eligible, so if you're eligible for financial aid, uh, it would pay for your entire education. You could be a firefighter paramedic within two years, making approximately $65,000 a year working for the state. Can you tell me about your entry requirements? In order to be in the firefighter EMT program, you would have to be a minimum of 18 years of age. You'd have to have a high school diploma or a GED. Uh, you have to be have a clean criminal history. Uh, you also be required to submit to a drug test. Uh, as required by our clinical partners and any of uh, physicals that are required by our clinical partners and or the Bureau of Fire Standards and Training. Do you have any questions for me today? I do not. Thank you for meeting with us. Have a great day. All right, so this is our dental building. Let's go in and see if Dr. Milliken can tell us a little bit about her programs. Okay. Dr. Milligan, hi, how are you? Hi, great. Awesome, this is Emily. She's interested in some of our health science programs. Hi. Would you be able to share with us a little bit about your dental hygiene and dental assistant program? I'd be glad to do that, Emily. Welcome, we come on into our clinic. We have two programs in dental education. One is dental assisting, which is an 11 month career certificate program. There are no prerequisites for admission to the program, a high school diploma or a GED. Um, and as I said, it's an 11 month program. Uh, they graduate, you would graduate with a career certificate, which is an opening to a job uh, as a dental assistant in a dental office. Okay. This is our clinic. Uh, there are 12 operatories in the clinic and we have three radiography rooms, which I'll show you in a few minutes. And um, the dental hygiene students as well as the dental assisting students use the clinic throughout their, their career, throughout their time in school. 
Dental hygiene is a degree program. Uh, the student that graduates from that would earn an associate degree, an associate in science degree, um, and it's a five semester program and you would graduate in May with an associate in science. Um, there is about a year's worth of prerequisite courses before you can apply to the program and it is a very competitive program. As you can see, each of our operatories are set up with electronics. We do our grading online and patient software is used to record all of our patient data. This is one of our dental radiography rooms and we have a panel machine on this side which takes uh, radiographs not only of teeth but of jaws and then we have digital uh, radi radiography for individual um, taking uh, x-rays of individual teeth. So this is our sterilization room and every student in our program learns how to disinfect and sterilize the operatories and their instruments that they're going to use. Infection control is very important in dentistry and we make sure that the students are prepared to do that in the offices where they work. Thank you, Dr. Milliken, for the tour. Really appreciate it. Oh, I'm glad that you came by to see us today. And Emily, we hope to see you soon. And this is our radiography lab. Let's see if our director is available. Hi, Ms. Bronte. Hi, how are you? Good. Hey, I have a student who's interested in some of the health science programs. This is Emily. Hey, Emily. Hi. Hi, Ms. Bronte. Can you share with us a little bit about your area? Sure. So our program is 23 months long, and um, the admission criteria is three courses. You need English, and you need college algebra, and you need anatomy and physiology one. Um, our program starts in August, about mid-August, and we finish two years later in July. Um, we have it set up so that students spend the first semester focusing on um, learning how to take care of patients, patient safety, um, you know, HIPAA, we focus a lot on that. Um, we focus on positioning, and then they start their clinical experience in the spring semester of their first year. Um, they typically will learn the hands, you're welcome to come on in. This is our um, energized lab. So this is where we teach the bread and butter of our actual profession and our industry. So um, we, we immerse the students in here with patient care, patient safety, um, how to use equipment properly, and the best practices as far as patient care, um, radiation safety, and the technical factors we need. Um, do you have any questions? I do not. Thank you for your time. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, and let's see if Mrs. Davis is available. Hi, Ms. Davis. Hi, how are you? Good. Good. I have a student here. Her name is Emily, and she's interested in some of our health science programs. This is Miss Alicia Davis. Hi. Hi. Can you share with us a little bit about phlebotomy? Well, um, this is my phlebotomy class. As you can see, we're all here. Say hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. They're almost finished. So the program is three months. So that's 10 weeks. It's three days a week. So this is my summer class. So we're now running from Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 3.30 to 8.30. And after we're finished with our three months, we get to go out and do three days of clinicals. So that's 24 hours, eight hours a day um, for clinicals. And the students actually love it. We prepare them here. We start out with a lovely mannequin arm first, and then we move on to doing actual live pokes on each other. If there's any more questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you so much. You are most welcome. So this is our clinical immersion center. And before I hand you off to Ms. Baker, I just wanna go over a couple of programs that we did not get to visit today. So we just stopped in with phlebotomy. Um, another couple of programs that we have that are online are some of our health services programs. We have a health service management program that is an associate degree. We also have a health services um, certificate program. So two excellent things that students that maybe have full-time jobs can go ahead and start working on. Another program that we offer in um, partnership with Advent Health is our, apprentice, our apprenticeship. We also offer medical office management programs. Now that is over in connection with our with HCI, Highland Career Institute. So we have several opportunities for students wherever they are in life. So before I hand you off, if you do have any questions, I'm always here in our health science building. Um, if you wanted to go ahead and put in an application, you can always go to our website, southflorida.edu. We always have apply now in the top right hand corner. If you run into any um, questions with that, give me a call. Um, otherwise, welcome to SFSC. Thank you.